so um welcome to the whiskey vault yeah i'm daniel i'm rex and i've never dropped a motorcycle yeah i did one time very <laughs> embarrassing what do we got uh we got a gift from steven salter magnificent bastard salter salter steven salter you magnificent bastard <laughs> So this is Deetling Alabama bourbon. Actually, oh. according to all the things, made in Alabama. I haven't, it just maybe my memory is incorrect. I don't recall a lot of whiskeys coming out of Alabama. Nope, me either. This okay. is Big Escambia Spirits and Seth Detling. Do you have any water? Oh, uh, I have my water, but I don't know if I have an unopened one over here. Looks like everything got cleaned while we were, uh, um, okay, anyway, Seth Detling. Uh, this is evidently uh, corn, rye, roasted wheat malt, roasted rye malt, and roasted barley malt, mm -hmm. aged at least two years. And uh, for this release, it's a cask strength version. Okay. And he said that he's picking these. This is like northeast of Mobile, Alabama. Ooh. He's picking these from the like different parts of the rickhouse that he wants to specifically choose things from. That's a lovely nose. It is. Oh, <laughs> it's not dominating. It's dark, but, but subtle. Th the word that jumps to mind is velvety. Yeah. It's kind of like a dark colored velvety, but not smooth, flat. rounded off. Not yeah. boring. No, no, no. Oh, there was that really sweet candied cherry note as I was pulling the glass away yeah. from my nose. This is the kind of nose to where there's a woodiness, but it's not an oak. It's more, no. it's more, it's closer to a sandalwood. Um, aromatic, really. Man, can I say, uh, before I've even tasted this thing, I've yeah. I really hope the palate lives up to the nose. Yeah. But son of a bitch, this is a luxury bourbon. So, like it smells oh, like yeah. luxury. Yeah, it does. It does. You got to be uh, wearing. I can't believe I'm saying it's about Alabama. <laughs> All right. What the hell, Alabama? <laughs> Pick a lane. Luxury. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Said the Texans. Right. Um, it it smells like <laughs> <laughs> you did something good, Alabama. Pick a lane. <laughs> it smells like you should be wearing a three-piece suit. Yeah. Yeah. And you can purpose. hear like light jazz, live jazz in the background, and the clinking of glasses. Yeah. And yeah. people talking in low hushed there, tones. I have one concern based on the nose, and the the nose is lovely, but this kind of aromatic presentation mm -hmm. of like a sandalwood, it could have. We'll see. We'll see. It could have. Like a bitter finish. It could. This is the kind of nose that could lead you into a bitter finish on the taste. We'll this see. is 54.9% alcohol. Man. Wow. Wow. 33 months old. Well, so this is, I'm not getting classic middle of the road bourbon notes no. either. I'm not getting like the cherry. I'm getting the, the um, if it's weird to say this, but like a wood perfume. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also... There's some sweet elements too. But not like an incense stick. It, there's sweet elements too, but it's not um, sugary sweet. Mm -mm. All right, here we go. Oh, oh it's really nice. It is, oh, and there's a honey on the finish. Oh, dude. I didn't get the bitter finish. Seth Dentling. I did not get the bitter finish. I did not either. Yeah, I got like a nice honey carrying me into wow. the sunset. Dude, I would. That yeah, was really nice. I would keep that in my house. Uh, I was braced we for. can't get this. Can I we? was braced for a little bit more bigness in the flavor because the nose is so present, but so subtle in the palate too. Well, not thin though. Mm -mm. And I think if you're new to whiskey, it's still going to throw a lot at you. But if you're wow. used to like the cast strength world, it's not going to be any kind of struggle. Okay, the odds of people getting this are pretty low. But what do we compare it to? You still had some left. I just needed enough to get water. I didn't know it was a race. <laughs> that was so. That was so bitter. <laughs> I didn't know it was a race. Just a bull. Stupid son. What would you compare this to? It's because I, we need to compare it to something that people might be able to get their hands on, but I don't know what to compare it to. It wakes up the wood on the nose. Yeah. Shed the water. Don't swish it too much. Let the oil sit on the top. Yeah. And then there's that honey is still in there. Look, it's like um, like a molasses tea mixture for mm. me on that nose. Ooh. It's still really nice. It's still, it's a little simpler. And it's a little fruitier too. Yeah. With the taste. I like the better it cast, but I really like this too. 
It was it cast? I bet the proofed down version is still pretty good. So the cast 54. is 54.9. 54.9% ABV. Yeah. Yeah. What do we compare that to? That people might be able to get. I can't think of anything. Honestly, the last shoot we did was a Rare Whiskey Friday. It may not be the last video that came mm-hmm. out because the ordering of things. Right. But one of those whiskeys, they all surprised us. Yeah. One of those whiskeys I feel like is getting towards that kind of presentation. Maybe. I don't know. But those man. were rare. I need something not rare. Oh. Something easy to get that you it's would gonna be like. Be, is there like a cask? What about the Jim Beam Extra Black or something like, like that? Like something close to cask? What do we yeah. have in the proof in the proof? You read and I'll look. All right. We got Dim Dim Kfi, Dim Dim Kfi X. Whenever Daniel tells a story, I always have to ponder how old he is. Yeah, how old do you think I am? Um I think, what are you, 41, 42? 41. 41. Headed 42. Huh? Head, headed towards Four 42. Years. So 41. Going on 70. Yeah, that's probably more accurate. <laughs> Back in my day. I remember this one time. How about Elijah Craig Barrel Proof? Yeah. I don't remember it tasting anything like this, but, but I want to. Okay. We've uh, got a 65 percenter here. Ed Stafford. There is only one way to determine the ice law. <laughs> this is to get one of those carnival style dunk tanks and fill it with ice and cold water and see who can last the longest submerged to the neck. You know I'm gonna last the longest. Yeah, it, here's the thing. Just from pure stubbornness, so. Rex would be willing to cause like physical damage to oh, yeah. himself. Oh. Just to make sure that I got out first. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Like. Uh, like the whole world of like machismo and posing and flexing, like that's, I don't really have a lot of street cred in that world, but I grew up in small town Texas. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And my, my college roommates learned this the hard way. It's like, ah, oh, screw with Rex. He's, he's like the closest thing we know to a theater nerd, which I was never in theater, yeah. but that kind of mindset. And never once do we have a head to head challenge that I didn't win. Yeah. See, I looked it up, and you shouldn't stay in an ice t- bath for more than like 15 minutes, according to doctors. I don't care. And I would stay 15 minutes. I don't care. I'd be fine. I don't care. It'd be painful, but I'd do it. But I tell you, I would get out when I was like, I don't want to have to deal with this being a permanent so- problem. And Rex would still be in there being like, I w-, as he's drowning in this <laughs> hypothermia, I, w- I won. This is, this I won his last words on a tombstone. I won. This is, uh, this is a story uh, that is relevant to what we're talking about. Okay, first we'll do this. Wait, hang on. Elijah Craig is all herbal and grass and none of the dark honey cherry, but it's, candy candy and wood notes. But it's also really nice. It's, it's a little nice. Bit, a little bit more lively. A little bit more... Um, Remember, we added water though. A little bit more pointy. On the Elijah Craig? No. To the other one. Oh, that's right. The Elijah Craig barrel proof is even more simply sweet. It is. It's more sugary. I much prefer this. It's got more wood bite. Go back to that. No, the it's be- got more wood bite and pepper. But the wood isn't that... Bitter tannic barrel no. oakiness. It's a different presentation. It's an aromatic, almost a sandalwood quality. He got all of the wood notes yeah. with none of the tannins. And I don't know how he did that, but it's delicious. That's really, really good. Uh, <laughs> it was the middle of winter. Me and my roommates were in the car, and one of them started giving me crap. So they were like, oh, I'm tougher than you, and I'm stronger than you. I was like, all right, uh, I think I have more endurance than you. Um, let's see who can uh, you go you know, f- freeze themselves out the longest. Um, we're in the back of the car. And uh, it was middle of winter. Roll down the windows, stick our head out the windows, and like this 40 was miles an hour. this was one of the colder that's wind chill of teens. This is one of the colder days in Texas. Yeah, it was like in the 30s. Oh, then that's going to be single digit cold wind chill. And whoever puts their head back in is a little bitch. We went from Austin to San Antonio, <laughs> head hanging out the window. Before he said, this is stupid. Basically what you would have done. Yeah. This, no, is, this is so dumb. Done. This is ridiculous. It was like, and so his head's in. Are I you in? Stop. Are you in? Are you in, Jeff? Are you done? Yeah, you're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just don't care. Well, That's the problem. But you don't care because you lose. That's no, why you don't care. I literally don't care. No, but if you won, you would have all the caring. The Ice Lord no, title is worthy of your no. jealousy? It's a hollow throne. It's an emperor with no clothes. And that why is <laughs> and that is exactly why you are unfit to serve as the ice law. Yeah. If that's what it takes, I'm fine with that ruling. 
<laughs> this is one of the best bourbons I've had in a very long time. I think so too. Uh, yeah, but we've Why also... do I still feel weird about giving that honor to Alabama? <laughs> But uh, I also will say we've been very fortunate. We've had a string of really? surprisingly, amazingly good craft whiskeys. I will also argue this is an outlier. This is not classic middle of the road bourbon. It's not. This is definitely on the edge. Like there's a Venn diagram overlap of yeah. classic bourbon notes, yeah. but it lives in its own territory. Yeah. And what it's doing just happens to be everything I love. Mm. Just happens to be. Mm. I'd be really interested to see what one of my bourbon friends like Chrissy Martin or the yeah. Pritchards, what they would think of this because they actually love and know bourbon. Yeah. I sort of tiptoe and around I, it. And then going back, I'm getting like a little bit of like a brown sugar note mm -hmm. there too, which is going to be more of your classic bourbon note, but it's mixed in with a bunch of things that are super special. Here's the fighting steal you drink. If you fight me and fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver. And if you drink, may you drink with us. <laughs>